What's going on? We got a box. How are y'all doing tonight? We got a live video here. I'm going to cut and paste this and put it over in Facebook and let them know. And we're there. We got a couple people watching already. We're going to wait a few minutes and uh, get started. And uh, yeah, this should be uh, the Billet Box 2022 um, Star Spangled, which is like a, a slate gray or a battleship gray, I guess you'd say, with uh, white speckles. And the other one is the special edition Betty White. And yeah. So I'm going to wait just maybe a minute or two. First time catching a live, love the videos. Hey, no problem. Thanks, Derek. Um, we're going to wait a few minutes. Um, most of the videos that I've done on the live really, you know, I mean, you can go back and watch the um, the replay and see the whole unboxing. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and just wait since, uh, you know, there might be some people want to jump in here, you know. We're up to about, what, six people? What's up, John? How's uh how's that uh billet going? The um what was it a twenty 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 clear? Thanks for what you did for me, brother. Oh, no problem at all, man. You need to thank uh I'm you I already heard you already did. Yeah, that's why I always catch the replays, yeah. So but anyway, we have a box with a sticker that has covered my stuff. So, all right, so let's take a look. I think we got enough people in here. Seal box. I hope there's nothing extra. I mean, I'd love it for something extra in here, but you know. But we're going to go ahead and bust this thing open. Oh, here, hold on. Y'all should be able to watch me do it, right? Y'all can track the tracking number. Oh, where's it? That ain't the tracking number, I don't think. All right. Let's do this. Uh -oh. Is there more tape somewhere else? Come on. There we go. I'm going to kind of open this. There's something. Can't... Oh, there's another sticker over here. All right. We'll turn that over. Uh, Y'all can see that much of it. That's one of the receipts. There are two boxes in here. I just want to make sure there wasn't something a little, something a little extra. Oh, there's 22 of them. This is serial number five of 22. I guess that there were 20, and this one is Star Spangled Ivory. G10 panels. This one has white G10 panels. Let's get that out of the way. Nothing else in there. Nope. All right. What do y'all want to see first? I'm going to give it a 2020 clear. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put them right here. Uh, who? What we want to see first? I'm going to guess that everybody's going to pick that one. I'm waiting for a couple couple people to say which one. Oh, we got one for Star Spangled, one for Betty, two for Betty. I'm voting for whichever one y'all pick. There's three to one Betty, so we're going Betty. All right. Sorry, Star Spangled. We'll look at you in a minute. Billet Box Vapor had to change their box up because they had a supplier issue. So this isn't the typical box you'd see. It's similar, but it's not the same. I'm going to... I mean, we don't, we're not in a hurry, are we? I'm going to open this in a way that I can reseal it so that the uh, next person that gets this may be happy with. Carefully open that a little bit. And 
this is one for me i just rip it open like a you know just cut it right down the seam but you know and just showing that you can do that shows uh that you can um somebody can open a box and use it and then put it back in the box to seal it and act like they it's brand new all right y'all seen that a hundred times no reason to uh rehash that this is new that's a little piece of clear paper covering it and we got the box let's move that out the way oh look at there i wonder if that's in both of the boxes guess that might have been put in there to protect the um protect the uh the finish of the box in the box uh, and then we have our little Nord adapter right there. We don't care about that, do we? No. Let's put that back together. And we have a Betty White box. With the Mother of Pearl button. Let's see how good we can see this finish. A little bumpy on it. Which, as far as I know, have been told, is by design. Not a flaw. And there you go. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? There it is. Oh, and it's hand numbered five of twenty-two. That is nice. That is nice. All right, we'll get on the other side. The same old, same old. Let me throw a battery in it, make sure it works. Because y'all know we've had some problems with that. It may be that, John, um, I'm hoping uh, when we open the other one, we'll know if, they, if that's something they're doing all the time now. Let's throw this battery up in here. And make sure it works. And it do. There we go, guys. If you didn't know this, just a little... A note every built box from the factory comes from there uh, from straight from BBV it's set to 24 watts for some reason I'm not sure if that's just the way they set it up or if that's the way the evolve chips come but yeah there you go guys I'm not gonna put anything in it because um, if you've been paying it if you've uh, heard on Facebook uh, I am NOT this I'm not keeping it. Um, I'm helping a friend out with this one, and the other one, the Star Spangled, is uh, I had to buy that one to give to a um, winner of a contest that I sponsored. So that is nice. So I'm a little jealous now. How would that look next to that? Uh uh uh. Oh well. I didn't know they were hand numbered, but um, if you didn't know the. Uh, they had a, I, I hadn't even been reading chat. Let me catch up here in a second. The, um, uh, what is it called? Barbara 2020s that came out two years ago. There were, uh, there were 10 or 20 of those. There were five of four different colors and they were, uh, hand, um, numbered to uh 20. So I kind of expected this one to be out of 20, but that's actually not hand numbered. That looks machined. That's too uh, perfect a writing to be hand numbered, but either way, it's serial numbered. So, everybody knows I pulled five of twenty-two initially. So, all right, guys, let's put this one aside for a minute. Get this battery out of here. I don't want to leave my battery in it. Put that back in there. I'll, I'll take some pictures and stuff too. The G10 panels look pretty good. They're not. They're not a complete white, but they're pretty white. All right, let's look at the Star Spangled. Move that over here. All right, catching up. Want to Betty White? Oh my God, I want. Yeah, man. Hey, Chris, what's up? What is happening? Yes, maybe to protect the white. Yes, Black Rose. Hey, what's up, Black Rose? I love the Star Spangled. Yeah. My freaking yeah, that is. I'll be honest with you. If I was to keep it, I might take the, the mop button off and actually find a white Delrin button and then use something like this. Let me find that drip tip I had. I had it laying right over here. Oh, I put it on a box. 
put that drip tip on top with a white Delrin button. It may be a little too much white, no, no contrast. But like with my whites, I like to, I've got the black and white contrast on both of the, um, both of the ones I use. So anyway, that's the Betty White. And now for the Star Spangled. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, Paula, are you in here? I'm not going to say your last name, but Paula, not Paul, Paul, Paula. If you're in here, let me know if you want me to carefully open it or rip it. Uh, because, well, I doubt you're on here, but I'm going to go ahead and just carefully open it. Is my audio okay tonight? <laughs> Hit that like button, folks. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really say that phrase. I'm, I mean, I, I appreciate every subscriber I get, but as I've said in some of these videos in the past, I really don't, I don't have, I mean, basically when I started this channel, it was just to supplement the website and I didn't really intend to have the following that I have on here. I was just going to dump videos and embed them on the website. We're opening the star spangle here, guys. And we're going to find out about that little piece of paper. Audio is fine. That's good. Perfect timing. Oh, you just showing up. There we go. And the little white piece of paper is in here. You know, it could have something to do. Uh, they don't have that white ring on this one. So, yeah, that was definitely for the Betty. Uh, but there is this. And maybe it has something to do with them not having the same box they used to use. I would grab one of my other boxes to show you the difference. But... Yeah, all the stuff that's written on the sides not there. The top is still there, but anyway. All right, so here's the Star Spangled guys and possibly gals. This one's got the black G10, the black Delrin button. And if y'all uh, have never got a new one, sometimes these G10 panels will look a little kind of parched, like dry. You just hit that with a little oil. But usually the oil from your own hands as you use it, which I never use the G10 panels. Uh, the, uh, the, the oils will lubricate that up. But on this one, if I had this box myself, these G10 panels would come right off. And these would go right on. Nice set of clears. Clears. I mean, with these beautiful boxes, why well, cover it, you know? So, but anyway, here we are, guys. Um... The finish on this one is really smooth. Um, I really honestly believe what I'm told that the finish on the white box, the SLRs, which is the black one, that finish is on purpose. Uh, this finish is very smooth aside from a little bit of bumpiness on the actual splats themselves. Protect the black foam. Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, because that black foam may stain it or something even. Who knows? But that foam is real soft. I don't know. But anyway, here we are. Um, right off the bat, the finish is, like I said, it's very smooth, this one. And uh, that little, the splats look really good on this one. Not a fan of R4C right there. What I think they should have done is, yeah, I love clear panels, John. They should have put USA they're getting rid of vapor off the box altogether, and you guys overseas will, uh, whenever you can actually get them delivered, will appreciate that. I'm, I've put a suggestion into uh, DD that they need to uh, go ahead and put USA right there. So, anywho, all right, but yeah, that is beautiful. Well, that one almost looks like it's not even supposed to be there. I thought it was a ding at first. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, on this, I don't mind the splat on this one. But I kind of wish... I don't like the bigger splat. I wish it was a lot of little splats. Even more little splats than it's on there. Ooh. And there we go. Just throw a battery in it. Make sure this bad boy works. Uh-oh, this one's tight. Dun, 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 dun. 
it works. The very first live video I did on Facebook uh, back in, I mean, like a year ago, um, was the To The Moon, which uh, a guy in this chat actually owns now, Lee Colson. Um, it was dead out of the box. That was the first time I ever did, did a live look at one of the new colors of a billet box. And that's why I do that every time, because, yeah. This, um, I don't have a, well, here. This is Black Ultim. This is, it, it's a lot, it's not as, it's not really black. It's like a gunmetal gray, the base color of it. Uh, here's another black. Here's a almost RPG that came out last year. That's a really light gray with a little metallic finish. So I don't have a. Uh, a G version, like 1149, whatever, 33G. I don't have one of those models to compare it to, but it's close. To, it's it's the darkest gray of all the grays so far. But, yeah. Yeah, USA would look a lot clearer, in my opinion. Slightly lighter black. Yeah, it's closer to black than gray, but it's definitely not black. I mean, you can actually look at the black Delrin button and see that. But actually, when you get it in a certain light, it's close. It's close to black. But anyway, this one's for Paula, winner of one of the contests, a contest that I had sponsored for. Uh, if you're familiar with the RJ Mod panels, the real nice, deep engraved panels you've seen around, uh, he had a, a fire in his shop. And there was a fundraiser put on by, you know, a bunch of people got together and did a fundraiser and to help them out. And I donated uh, this box. Um, and yeah, I have to hunt one down or a moon dust. And also, if you didn't look at the, see the drop, <clears throat> there's another model called Pew Pew Pew, P-E-W-P-E-W, -P -E -W, that is the same color minus the splats that was also sold last weekend. I have to hunt one down or moon does. Don't know if it's just lighting, but it appears lighter than my SLR. Well, yeah, it, it, it's not supposed to be a black. It's uh, like a gunmetal gray. It's actually darker than I expected it to be. It is closer to black than I thought. I, I mean, I knew it was going to be a lot darker than um, like the 11 G's and stuff, but yeah. Oh, PSS, that's you? Oh, okay, okay. Um, did you answer my question about, uh, how to open it? <laughs> I didn't catch if you did or not. Good evening. What perfect timing. Yeah, I had, I guess you came in right at, right after I, um, opened it, but I was going to ask if you want me to just rip it open or open it that way. So, but anyway, everybody's gawking at your box. Uh, by the way, I'm going to tell you right now, this, um, this panel, no, it went on straight. Okay, never mind. I might have just had a look. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say it was a little tight putting that, that panel on. And I was going to check this. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, we're going to put that up. Anybody got any questions? Or cost me for me to get one. Yeah, the, the, the shipping is just ridiculous overseas. And that's all got to do with... DHL drop it in billet box vapor because it's vapor. Back in there, Paula. Put it all together. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm going to take it out and take pictures later. <laughs> but for video purposes, we're putting it back together. One more look at the Betty. Man. Adam is uh, on the East Coast, the guy that's getting this, and he's probably in bed because he's a punk. But, um, man, I shouldn't have promised this. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, man. Anyway, let's put it away before I fall in love and uh, um, go back on my promise. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, what's happening with y'all? Anything? They got any questions? Not complaining, honored to get my BB. But boy, yeah, I'm sorry. 
um, Paula, when, when I, when I, when I, when I set this up to be able to get both of them, when I got, I, I didn't ever expect to be able to catch the Betty. I didn't think I was going to be able to get one. And, uh, I knew I was going to be able to be fast enough to get your, um, your star spangles. So I committed to it. Um, and I totally planned on keeping the Betty, but then the story behind that is, um, built box vapor contacted me and asked me if I knew a certain person. And I said, yeah, I said, why? He said, cause he, he was, uh, he was on the website and almost got one of his boxes, but his car got declined like three times. And I feel really bad that we don't have any extra set aside. And uh, I was like, Hey, what's up, Scott, Scotty. Um, and so I just, my, I don't know, I guess I'm too kind hearted. I said, well, you know what? Let me contact him since he's a friend of mine and see if he wants to buy mine. And I don't know why I did it because, well, it's not, <clears throat> it's not like there's any more. Uh, Scotty, did you get yours? Um, cause if you didn't, I don't know if you know this or not. But we've talked about how many they were, and I guess either 20 or 22. It is 22. And, uh, oops, wrong box. Oh, it's still out. I didn't put it back in the box. Answer me, Scott. Scotty. There is 22, and it's serial numbered. But I got number five. Of 22 mine was already on the truck so they couldn't get it oh, okay so you'll find out I wonder how the order of when they went out or you know who got what number was whether it was the first yeah I guarantee there's no more of those I mean there's only 22 of them so I'm fairly sure just like with the Barbara box in 2020 that that's just a one-off that we won't see another one it's just like we'll never see another dumpster fire unless somebody replicates it, but yeah. So, anyway, guys, that's it. That's the box, the two boxes, and uh, yeah. I'll take some pictures if you follow me on the other. Uh... Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Rafi. If you follow me on any of the uh, uh, other channels like Facebook or Instagram or whatever, You'll see a few pictures. I won't. You won't get a lot of them because I've got to hurry up and uh, fall out of love with them real quick and send them on to their um, to their respective owners. Um, and since you're on here, Paul, I'll tell you uh, tomorrow probably won't be able to get it out tomorrow, uh, so it'll probably have to be Saturday before I'll get it out. The new mission switch is nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm probably not going to grab one because I, I really suck at you know those drops. Oh man, <coughs> excuse me, Scotty. So you're that's why you wanted to get it early because you're about to leave. That sucks. But yeah, um, I do have a uh, one of the new tips from Mission coming. Not the booster, but the the oh, what is that thing called? The mm, hang on a minute. What is that thing called? Uh, da, 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 da. Eh, I don't have it handy. The the nuke or something like that. The the big bulbous. Uh, insert that you put on top of the um where's my booster at yeah you just take this part out right here take this top part out here and put it on there and i got a black one coming that it's going to make it a little longer that's my only complaint with these booster tips there's nothing wrong with them all they're excuse me they're great but they're a little too low profile for me i like a I like a little longer, like that. A little bit longer. This, this, I mean, like this tip here. It's just a tad bit longer, and it's, uh, I like that better. So, um, when they start coming out with some longer ones, like this one, really excited about that. Managed to get a mission this morning. Oh, one of the, first, the five that he dropped on the, the sneak attack. Is there anywhere that has instructions for temp control on build boxes? Don't really use it, but was interested. Um, the only thing I could tell you about learning about, I mean, the chip in a build box is a DNA 60. And um, 
just do a search on here on that's why i've never shown the chip maybe i will one day show everything that you can do see billet box has a lot of the uh the chip functions not turned off but not programmed in to where you can check it or change things uh because he's got it set up just the way that he wants you to be able to use it and only way around it which one day i'll i'll do it but you can uh take the panel off uh your switch panel off and uh unhook the board and plug in a little adapter to kind of get in with the with um um the software to change settings but uh do a search on youtube for dna 60s um guide or something and all the the there's a few people that have done videos going through all the functions of a dna 60 board take those four pins on the corners huh is there a way to take out those four pins on the corners in order to take out the side part for coating? Hey, what's up, Tony? Ed Force, um, re restate your question. I don't know exactly which, which, which four pins. Oh, oh, are you talking about the magnets? Um, I don't know how to get the magnets out, but you can take those out. Um, and you definitely want to because apparently, you know, during seracoding, they'll demagnetize if you don't uh, take them out. Um, I don't know how to take them out personally, but if you want to send me a message on the website, on the contact form, or hit me up on Facebook uh, Messenger, I'll um, I'll ask one of my friends at Seracote and see what they recommend to get the magnets out. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, Scott. Scotty. But see if you heat it up. To get them out, doesn't the heat demagnetize it? Because I think that's the reason why you need to take them out, right? They're a billion dollars. I don't know, Seven. Have you seen um in some of these groups? I've seen a couple. Uh, this switch here, this is the Topo, the black Topo. I thought I saw somebody put one of these up for 150 which is less than RP the other day. There isn't a replay mode with the billet boxes configuration of the DNA 60 chip. Um, you'd have to, uh, like I said, I don't have any that I can easily quickly. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do that right here right now, but I'll do a video soon. I'm going to, I'll find one of those dongles that you can buy. Friendly Flipper sold one and I'll, um, I'll do a video on how to get in there and, uh, mess with your chip with the, with the, um, Oh, what is Evolve software called? I got it right here on my desktop. Uh, da -da. E Scribe. E Scribe. Why was I pulling a blank on that? Um, I'll do a video on E Scribe and you know how to do it with a billet box at some point. I'll try to I'll try to make that a priority. Also in Canada, it's a USA conversion. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in Canada, you can if you can hit the drops in the mission group. It's a lot cheaper because you don't have to pay a billion dollars for shipping like we did. Well, I mean, I think it's 15 for shipping for us. I mean, I've sold, I sold one for 400 only because it was, there was only like five of them. I'm not really a flipper, but when you got something that is desirable, you know, Hey, sometimes you gotta, you gotta flip. I mean, technically I flipped this Betty. I charged him a dollar more and I paid for it. Um, just to say I flipped it, <laughs> but getting a dollar in flipping. The Savage, yeah, they are, they are. I hit on the, the Moon Dust uh, original, uh, the, the second mission switch that came out after the original OG one. And um, I was that was the first person to fill out the form, and then I never got on a list after that. So I'm overthinking things, not want to change out the buttons from standard. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I To be honest, I, I really like round the round buttons i mean the placement is perfect for me um i mean the, the the look the functionality of a mission switch is not why i've ever used a mission switch it's the look of the switch is what what i like about it functionality wise i mean in fact most of the time when i'm using a mission switch i'm still using the same position uh, i mean like with the rocker you can you know, down you're using your the board on the uh, the button on the firing board, and up you're using the button, uh, the the extra button that's wired to the board. 
Uh, but typically, I feel like when I when I hit this, I'm actually using the uh, the, the position on the top. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, locked. I locked it. So, but anyway, guys, we'll do this one more time. I will show the Betty one more time. Let's go down here and I'll show that one more time for anybody that might have showed up after I showed it. And we'll show the Star Spangled one more time. I gotta pull it back out though. I'll get some pictures taken tomorrow. I don't want to fool with it tonight. I got some things I gotta get done before going to sleep. And I think I want to do some outside pictures. So that is the Star Spangle. Like I said, there's a another version that was new that came out last weekend called Pew Pew P E W P E W. That um that um looks just like this, just without the splatter. So yeah, Justin, um, like this one here from um. This is a, a YEC button, but this is a special edition one, one that they made, set of them they made for uh, Boral Box Bay. And that's concave. That's my only concave button I've got. I like it a lot. But, yeah. Yeah, Scotty, it's a lot darker than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be... I, I knew it was going to be darker than the 11Gs or the, uh, the billet box, which is a real light, a real light uh, gray. Uh, but I didn't expect it to be so close to black. It's it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. So, but anyway, guys, that is it. We've been on here for 30 minutes, and I don't know how, but somehow we're going to get out of this thing a little earlier than my normal stuff. Get a Dover on Monday. All right, cool, Tony. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I appreciate y'all jumping in, and uh, I had fun. Take it easy.